Welcome back, my extraterrestrial mafia. This is New June Tuesday, and in this episode, we will be covering over a Warshade Triform build. And this was a this was an interesting build because I never actually built a true Triform, and even this is technically not a true tri tri uh, Triform because a true Triform takes a lot of slots to do, and you and I feel like you lose out on a lot of things when you don't have enough slots and powers. So the downside to having a Triform is your slotting. It's hard to slot for a true Triform. But in this case, I went for a Triform, but it's mainly a Biform when, it, when, it, when it's the forms themselves. Human side, we don't really have an attack chain there. But we do have powers that we use from the human side. Um, so this is my best way of doing it i spent a lot not a lot of time on here but i spent some time on here to try and get the best out of it possible so we'll be covering over it i might repeat some things because this is kind of different but uh we're gonna get right into it so here we grabbed a we grabbed the necessary powers here that we're gonna use from the main set so we can dark nova sunless mire uh dark extraction quasar uh Shadow Cloak, Black Dwarf, Stegen Circle, uh, Stegen Return, and Eclipse. Then we filled out the rest of the powers with what I think would come in handy from the um, power pools. So we went with the Stealth Pool for the Luck of the Gambler IOs for the Global Recharge. We're not necessarily using Stealth unless you're stealthing through a mission. So you would turn on Invisibility just to get through the mission. So stealth, grand invisibility, uh, invisibility, so we have stealth proc here, stealth proc here with the kismet, 6% to hit, not accuracy, this is wrong, it's to hit, and the invisibility, so global recharge, global recharge, global recharge. Then we went with, we're going to skip, we're going to skip this real quick, then we went with sorcery pool, so spirit award, mystic flight, and rune of protection. We actually slotted rune of protection. Mystic Flight has a slow resistance IO in it, and Spirit Ward has the Numina Plus Plus in it. We will go over why I did Rune of Protection, but we're going over the powers right now. Uh, Medicine, we went with 8 Other, 8 Self, and Resuscitate. Uh, I didn't really have any other powers I really wanted, so I went with 8 Other, 8 Self. You know, if, you're at, if there's a down point, you can heal your ally. Um, you can heal yourself in between battles um, and then resuscitate. So if you ever need an extra res, for whatever reason, you can res. You're just a secondary person, but these will come in handy in some situations. As far as slotting goes, that's the other reason why I grab these powers, because they don't require a lot of slots. They don't require any slots to so just do a regular secondary uh, heal slash res. So we went there, there to get this stuff. Now here, I have Presence Pool in here as a uh, filler. So Pacify, Intimidate, uh, Unrelenting. These are the right slots to get, but this is for uh, Force of Will or Will of Force. Don't remember what the name of it actually is. The new power, the new, the new power pool as of um, October 16th, which is today's date. So Force of Will will be the uh, single target uh, weaken power that will debuff your enemies. So this will come in super handy against elite bosses, AVs, and such like that. Uh, not for regular mobs, because uh, you want you need to be out of form to use this. Uh, super jump and the knockdown power. Uh, not really wanted. The person wanted the inset travel powers, so we have the inset travel powers. But we have the super jump here because we need it to get the last power, which is the big buff, the reason why I got it. Now the big buff is going to be three slots. So I actually have the three slots in this place. The three slots will be uh, Luckily Gambler Global Recharge, Luckily Gambler Defense Endurance, and Luckily Gambler, no, Luckily Gambler Defense Recharge, Luckily Gambler Defense Endurance Recharge. So you want to get the recharge in here. This will give us a buff that I will explain later. Next is going to be our slotting. So absorption and the auto power, which we're not going to be using almost at all. 
will have our max HP in here. This will trigger at any time, no matter what form you're at. The power does not have to be on with us with this going off. Gravity shield is a shield, but we're not going to use a shield. So this is the the protection uh, three percent defense. This will just buff our defense auto all the time. Uh, stealth, the kismet proc. This is in here because when you're in dwarf form or in human form, you don't get the to hit that Dark Nova gives you. So you need this to cover your basis when you're in dwarf form and in human form because you need some to hit to be effective in all the content. Uh, Dark Nova, we did three slots here. Uh, I got the two slots in here for Smash and Lethal Defense. So I was like, eh, let's get the perception in case we ever get smoke screened and stuff like that. So I just threw three in here. This is enough to hit to cover you for any content. The other choices in here is fly, don't really need it. Endurance, don't really need it. And universal travel, don't really need it. So this is this is your best slots for not only the benefits of the set bonuses, but saving on slots for other powers. Having a six slot, you're losing out on a lot of other stuff. Uh, Sunless Mire, six slotted for the uh, superior essence transfer. This gives us our nice melee, smash and lethal, regen, recharge, recharge, uh, hit points. But this power will continue on through changing form. So if you hit this and then go into Dark Nova, you will have that damage buff for 30 seconds while in Dark Nova, or this while in uh, Black Dwarf. So this comes in handy for all forms, not just human. Uh, Black Dwarf, six slotted because you need the resistance. This is your tank. When you have this turned on, you're up pretty high near cap for smash and lethal uh, resistance. Fire and coal is capped, and energy and negative is pretty high, and then toxic is pretty high too. So this is this is pretty good. You need the six slotted for tanking abilities, for, for you to be somewhat of effective tank. Uh, Stagen Circle, Miracle Plus Recovery. Uh, we're also going to use this power, but it doesn't need to be slotted. This is a power to heal you, your endurance and your hit points after a battle's over. This will heal off of dead bodies, after defeated bodies. Um, but this unslotted is already pretty good, so this will just be after battles. Uh, we talked about Spirit Warrior, we talked about Mystic Fight. Rune of Protection is the, the reason why I got it is... Not only does it give us almost 30% resistance to everything for 90 seconds, but we can trigger this and then go into door, uh, door form. Um, I do believe this stacks. Um, if not, that's fine, because Rune Protection will help you survive when you're using Sunless Mire, Quasar, Dark Extraction, and your other powers. Combining Rune Protection and Eclipse off of enemies, this will get your resistances pretty darn high. So you can survive pretty well with this on in human form if it doesn't sack with this. This is something I have not really tested, so i sorry if it doesn't, but it will still come in handy nonetheless. Uh, Quasar 6 slotted. I wanted to get the knockback to knockdown conversion in here. Uh, a friend of mine uses it, and it doesn't really convert all the knockback to knockdown because he still knocks things back. But if you if you're in dwarf form, fire off or is it black dwarf mire to get that buff. Change out of the form, go to Sunless Mire. This is when you're not the main tank. And then hit Quasar. This damage will be up around 900 damage. So it'll kill everything except for bosses. Which is fine. You know, if you knock back two guys. The group shouldn't complain too much because everything's dead. <laughs> so this power will still come in handy. Uh, it needs to be fully buffed to not be such a nuisance to teams. Because uh, the knockback is a lot. It's 17. Well, it's been reduced because of uh, these two IOs, uh, IOs down here. I don't know if these are universal, but these are reducing this for some reason in mids. I don't know if that's how it is in game. Um, but it's it's a high magnitude. It will knock back everything. Uh, dark extraction, really good. I mean, it's a pet that shoots energy uh, negative bolts at, at enemies, and it lasts for 200 seconds. So 
just fire off this on a dead body, raise up a little pet, and you get a little pet to follow you around for, you know, over just over three minutes. And you can have two of these up within the time limit. So it's it's convenient to have. It, it's extra damage on top of what you already do, and it only takes you know a couple dead enemies to get one up. So bring one up after a battle so that it's up for the next battle, and just keep on continuing on after that. Uh, Eclipse, okay, we already went over that. This will give us resistance for 90 seconds. Between this and Eclipse, it's super helpful, super useful. And the buff power from the Force of Will set gives you defense. So this defense on top of this, combined with what we got, 34.4% Smash and Lethal defense, will give you above cap Smash and Lethal defense when you don't have any shields around you. So it's pretty good. Um, but this power lasts for 60 seconds, so you will be good for 60 seconds. Just keep an eye out on your um, buffs going. So, uh, Stegen Return, simple, res, uh, again, 8 self reset. And then Shadow Cloak. You won't really ever use this power because invisibility would give you better stealth than Shadow Cloak will. So, this is mainly just for the luck of a gambler recharge, uh, global recharge. Now that we're done with these powers, we're going to go over the powers for each of the forms. So Dark Nova, Five Slots, Apocalypse. Um, there wasn't any other IO sets in here. We don't really need the range defense from any of the other sets, so we went with Apocalypse. Uh, if you're hurting on money price-wise, you can switch to Decimation. Decimation has got uh, Recharge in there, Max Endurance and Hit Points. So this will come in handy. But Apocalypse is a better IO. Regen, hit points, damage buff, recharge. Recharge is the most important. Uh, Dark, uh, Dark Nova Blast. We have Decimation in here. In here. Uh, we skipped for the chance for build-up because we needed the, the stats and the power to be a little bit higher. Um, if you'd like, you can switch it out with the, probably the damage recharge and just go with that. If you want the chance for build build up, which I'll keep it in there. Um, Dark Nova Emancipation or Amen Amen Amen. Yeah, I can't say it. <laughs> um, it's a cone. I'm not too fond of cones, but uh, you're kind of lacking in power anyway. Um, so we slide it with the Ragnarok. Uh, again, the recharge is is quite nice. Um, you can switch this out with Positron's Blast. Positron's Blast, stats-wise, isn't that great, um, percentage-wise. But uh, Ragnarok is also more expensive. So Ragnarok's a better choice. I'll leave it in there as that. Converting the knockback to knockdown, because it is a high knockback cone power. Same with Dark Nova Detonation. Here we have the five slots of Superior Keldeon's Grace. Super good uh, set. Accuracy, Smash and Lethal Resistance, Damage Buff, Recharge. But the last IO in there, Form Empowerment, gives us uh, even more protection on top of what it already gives us. And again, Knockback to Knockdown. Because it's a big knocking power. Big targeted AoE knock, knockdown power. Uh, over on the Black Dwarf side, we went with the Four Slots Kinetic Combat. Smash and lethal defense. I'm gonna move this, move this over here. Uh, Smash and lethal defense. We're trying to get as much as we can. Uh, luckily enough, the empowerment buff will push us over cap. Uh, Black dwarf smite. Smash and lethal defense. Black dwarf mire. Smash and lethal defense. You can see where I'm going with this. Black dwarf drain. Smash and lethal defense. But some healing on top of it. And then the uh, four slots for Smash and Lethal Defense, but also a good taunt uh, slotting-wise. Uh, Shadow Step, we have the Endurance Range, because successful uh, activations of this will drain your Endurance quite fast. Same with this one, Endurance Range. And in Shadow Recall, we have our Knockback I on here. I mean, this Knockback IO and this one, we have our 8%. Or 8 points, 8 magnitude of protection. And the uh, alpha slot we went with, went with, incarnate slot alpha, 
is spiritual core. Uh, that extra recharge in there mixed with uh, the healing will come in super handy. This one. So, the healing allows us to regen a little bit faster. That's not the most important, but the recharge rate is, is super good. And the healing will affect the Black Dwarf terrain as well, and the Stagen Circle. Uh, it's it, it's where we liked it. The agility that I really love is super good, and it boosts our endurance uh, recovery. But the thing is that it doesn't boost defense. It boosts the defense of the powers, not of the slotting. So the defense of agility doesn't help you at all. So we went with the uh, 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 spiritual core instead because it's got a better recharge in it. And the endurance recovery we don't really need because we're in form mode. So this was a again this was a fun build. This was different, um, and uh, I hope you like it. This was a build for a viewer. Um, I hope you liked it. If you've learned something from this, uh, please leave a like, uh, comment what you what you found interesting. Comment if you have any critiques for it. I do listen to critiques. <laughs> I don't ignore everyone. I just I do I do listen. Um, if you would like me to build a character for you, there's a link in the description for a spreadsheet. Enter in your information there, and I will get to building. Uh, these are fun to me. So it's none of it's a burden. <laughs> um, and thanks for watching again. I'm Alien Mafia. This is New Tune Tuesday, and have a good one.